Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on Microsoft Office 365 Link. My name is Sarah and today we're going to learn how to use the various techniques within Link to send instant messages. We will also briefly discuss how to format the text in your messages. Let's get started. Once you have launched Microsoft Link, your contacts will appear in the window. Each of your contacts is displayed with a colored bar to the left of their photo or icon. This colored bar indicates whether or not the person is available. The first and most common way to send an instant message is to double click the contact you would like to send a message to. Before trying to send a message, you should first determine whether or not the person is available by checking the color of their status bar. As you can see here from my status, green indicates available, red means busy, and so on and so forth. Once you have double clicked a contact, a message window will pop out and you may begin your conversation. Let's see if we can get a hold of Dan. There are also a lot of great features within the messaging window that you can use while talking with someone. For example, you can temporarily change the color of your text directly in the window, or you can use one of the 80 emoticons to enhance your messages. If you would like to permanently change your font, font size, or color, then you must use your settings. To do this, select the contact window. Click on your own photo or icon at the top of the window. A new window will pop out containing several different formatting options. Choose General and select Change Font. You can select from several different font choices and sizes and colors here. Make your font changes and select OK. Keep in mind any conversation windows that were previously opened before you made the permanent font changes will not be formatted immediately. You must close out that conversation and open a new one before the formatting converts. Another option you have when sending an IM is to use the contact. First, click on the person you would like to talk to. Once you have done this, the contact card will pop out to either the right or left of the contact. This card contains options for emailing, instant messaging, voicemailing, and other options like video sharing and scheduling. Select the icon that looks like a speech bubble and a new conversation window will appear. As you can see, my font formatting has now changed. A third option you have when sending an IM is to simply right click the contact and select send an instant message. As you can see, Link has several capabilities that can be useful to you every day. That is all we have to show for today. If you would like to learn more about Microsoft Link or any other Office 365 product, check out our Facebook and Twitter pages and visit our channel here on YouTube. Thanks for watching and I hope this tutorial was useful. See you soon!